Hi guys from Barbara and welcome to my ketogenic channel. Usually I prepare Italian recipe, but today I have a surprise. We are going to prepare a Spanish one. I spent beautiful years in Spain and I have many good memories. So let's go together to prepare this Saint Therese yolks. It's really easy, but it's a recipe that you must prepare in two times. So I will go to the gym afterwards, but let's go together to prepare this dish that is perfect also on a egg fast. The ingredients that you will need are just two, egg yolks and erythritol, but everybody add always a personal touch and today I choose vanilla. But talking about erythritol, I want to tell you something that scared me at the beginning. You will read that it's made by 100% of carbohydrates, but it has zero calories. So it means that our body is not able to take those carbs. So don't worry, erythritol is also 100% ketogenic. start by separating the yolks from the whites and I will use this tool that usually is made to cut the hard-boiled eggs in slices but one of you told me that it's really useful for separating also the yolks from the white so thank you so much for all your suggestion as I told you before this is perfect also on an egg fast as a dessert but remember that with every egg you should add one spoon of fat so with the whites you are supposed to prepare something adding fat because these yolks are not fat enough for that kind of fasting and now another tip that i learned from you passing the yolks through a net so you will not find any like uh, pieces of uh, skin i don't know how you call it in english uh, it's like a little layer that keep the yolk together but let's go on with the recipe and let's pass these yolks through a net it's highly recommended Now it's time to add our second ingredient, that is the erythritol. I will not tell you a dosis, I just put a teaspoon because uh, this is going to be very sweet, but anybody has his own taste. Today I choose to use six yolks only because I will need the six whites for my next recipe. This is a delicious Spanish recipe and the next one will be a delicious and worldwide famous recipe. So don't miss any and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for subscribing. We are so many now and I'm so happy. Thank you all. While cooking at very low heat, whisping with an electric mixer, we should add also the vanilla. This is an optional ingredient, so you can change it with everything you like. Many people like cinnamon or also lemon zest. After 15 minutes mixing, we can put it on a plate and into our refrigerator overnight and you will see what will happen tomorrow. It's incredible. This is our egg yolks. They are hard now just for the cold and we will be able to form little balls that will be like little candies. But I've had enough. Unfortunately, our cute pastel colors and flowers-like paper cups are too big because these yolks, I don't know what happened, are just a few in this big plate and I will prepare very little treats. 
but don't worry because after the recipe we will go window shopping every year here in stockholm there is this big department store that prepare spring windows they are spectacular full of colors full of flowers so we will go there even if we cannot put flower on the recipe we will watch something amazing so please come with me also after the final greetings because uh, these windows are really worth it and now the topping santa teresa yolks typically have powdered sugar outside so i will put powdered erythritol but maybe this will be too sweet for me so i will be also creative with the toppings but i just want to try also the classic My topping number two that will be perfect with the vanilla that I put inside is cacao. This is unsweetened, of course, because as you know, on a ketogenic diet, we are not supposed to eat carbs and sugars, at least big quantities. So mine has only 8.8% .8 carbs. Always read the label and choose the product that is lower in carbs and possibly higher in fats. This cacao is just perfect. Last but not least, cinnamon. I was not sure about using this topping, but at the end I have to tell you that it has been my favorite without any doubt. So try it and then let me know. If you have any other idea, please write them down below. Also, if you have any suggestion for making these yolks less sticky, because uh, I can tell you that these were very good to eat, but also a little bit messy. I really hope you liked today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you to all the people that already subscribed. So we can see here, we can meet here every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time with another ketogenic video, but also on Wednesday with the same video in Spanish and on Friday in Italian. See you next week and thank you all!